Hello, my name is Snowlight. This is my Warcraft University, a YouTube series intended to give new and mid-tier players simple concepts towards playing World of Warcraft at a higher level. In this video, we will discuss classes, plate, and chainmail. In the previous lesson, we discussed some of the fundamentals of Warcraft, specifically the three primary roles in the game and the differences between melee and ranged characters. Now that we have this foundation, we can finally discuss the different classes currently in the game and the differences between roles and playstyles between each class. In this lesson, we'll go over the classes that wear plate and mail armor, and we'll save leather and cloth wearing classes for the next video. All forms of warriors use the Rage resource to fulfill either a tank or a DPS role. Protection is the tank spec and is focused on mitigating damage received, but lacks the self-healing and sustain of other tanks. Because of this, Prot warriors tend to have one of the smoothest damage intakes of all possible tanks. That is to say, the health bar will go down slower than other tanks, but entirely relies on healers to stay alive over long fights. In addition, warriors can choose to talent into arms, a specialization where you hold two-handed weapons in each hand, or fury, a specialization heavily focused on attacking multiple enemies in order to switch to a more DPS-based role. Finally, warriors can provide a unique buff that increases attack power for all party members, a desirable feature for physical damage dealers. Warriors also have a number of fun leaps and dashes built into their kits. Warriors are a melee class only. Paladin is the only plate wearing class that can fill all three primary roles across the three talent specializations. All Paladin specs use mana as their resource. Like warriors, Paladins have a protection specialization which focuses on mitigating and self-restoring abilities. Prot Pallies can choose between stronger mitigation or self-heals, depending on the situation within a fight. On the other hand, Paladins can switch talents and instead go Holy, a healing spec that focuses on direct heals that increases the target's current health with every cast. Paladins are the only plate-wearing class that can specialize in healing. If DPS is desirable, Paladins can switch to a melee DPS spec called Retribution, based on combining spells and two-handed weapons to defeat enemies. Death Knights were the first class added to the game alongside the launch of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. All three specs have six runes that can be spent to use abilities and generate runic power. The runes regenerate quickly and can be manipulated based on different talents. While waiting for runes to regenerate, the Death Knight can use the runic power stored up in order to cast other abilities, thus switching between the two types of resource. The Blood specialization allows a DK to fulfill the tank role by using offensive abilities to leech hit points from your target, while the other two specs use various frost or unholy types of abilities to output DPS. Death Knights are unique from other classes in having the Death Grip ability, which will pull a single hostile target to the Death Knight's position, and an even stronger version of this ability can be picked up by Blood Death Knights. That being said, this class is notorious for having very few abilities that improve mobility, meaning that other than running in the traditional sense, Death Knights are a fairly immobile class. Have you ever wanted to be a conduit for the ancient forces of nature? How do you hurl bolts of lightning? Simple, you roll a shaman. These masters of the elements combine the power of earth, wind, lightning, nature, etc. in order to deal maximum damage as a caster, elemental spec, or to enhance their melee weapons, enhancement spec. Alternately, restoration shamans make for excellent healers. All shamans have the ability Bloodlust, which increases the haste stat for all party or raid members for about a half minute. And this used to be a unique buff to shamans. 
Now it is shared with a few other classes, mages and some hunters, for example. In addition, Enhancement Shamans have a Wind Fury totem they can put down, which gives a melee buff to their party members. Very useful in a raid if you can stack all your melee friends into your party. Anyone watched Lord of the Rings lately? How about anything with Robin Hood in it? Hunger Games, perhaps, or the Disney movie Brave? If so, you've probably thought about how cool it would be to play a character that uses a bow. As a hunter, you can specialize as a marksman and focus heavily on dealing damage through bows, crossbows, and guns. Or you can go with Beast Mastery and teach your pet companion how to do damage for you. If you're feeling super spicy, you can forego the ranged aspect of this class and instead choose the Survival Specialization, a melee focus build for this primarily ranged class. Hunters are limited to the DPS role and are a very popular class amongst new and veteran players due to their unique playstyle and because it is one of the only ranged classes that can continue to move without dropping any DPS. That will cover the plate and mail classes currently in World of Warcraft, but now it's your turn. If you play one of these classes, drop a comment below and let me know any critical details that makes your class awesome. Every class has some cool stuff that it does that I haven't discussed here. So I want to hear what you think I missed in these very high level descriptions that really brings your class out. And if you're looking for your new favorite class, did any of these descriptions call to you? Thinking about trying out a new class? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this useful, please leave a like on the video or a comment with any questions or ideas so we can continue to work on the series. The subscribe button and the bell are there so you can see when new videos come out, if that is your desire. As always, please be positive in your guilds and help make WoW a fun place for everyone to play. Goodbye for now.